I've got a question that some people aren't going to like, but I promise, I promise, it's serious. And I think that we really need to consider this. Is it dumb to to just think, to assume that George is going to be better in 2024 than it was in 2023? Let it simmer. I'll give you a few seconds. Really simmer on that. Pause the video. Pause the video if you have to. I, I can't pause. I, I actually can't pause, but seriously, is it dumb for Georgia? Is it dumb to think that they're going to be better in 2024 than they were in 2023? Right? A lot is going to be the same. Some things will be different. Georgia was Georgia did not win the national championship. Georgia did not make the college football playoff. Circumstances will be different this year. There will be a 12-team college football playoff. Georgia will make the college football playoff. Because I'm telling you right now, they're not going to lose three games or four games. Whatever it will be to knock Georgia out of the playoff, I just don't think it's going to happen. I think that the dogs will be fine in terms of that go. But... Didn't get the ultimate goal done last year, even though, in my opinion, maybe it was Michigan. Maybe I'm being a little too harsh, but in my opinion, Georgia had the best roster, best team, best coaching staff in college football. Thought they were the number one team in the country pretty much all year. Lose to Bama. It happened. Should, you know, should that have kept Georgia out of the playoff? I don't think so. But they found their justification for keeping the dogs out of it. Well, what's, what's going to be different? In 2024 for Georgia. Some personnel things will be different. New DB's coach. New co-defensive coordinator. And Travaris Robinson instead of Will Muschamp. Will Muschamp will still be with the program. We'll have new faces at running back. Trevor Etienne. Really isn't the new face. All right, They'll have other key contributors like a Roger Robinson I think. Branson Robinson will likely be back and healthy. The offensive line is pretty much the same. The wide receiver room. Right, there are some new faces, but there's a lot of the same faces. Um, you go to the defense, and they lost a lot of really important players. And a lot of really important secondary players. You lose Kamari Lasseter, Tyke Smith, and Javon Bullard. Um, then you move to tight end position. <laughs> lost one of the best tight ends in college football and, and football history in Brock Bauer. So... Maybe I should wait to give you time to pause right here. Why is Georgia going to be better? I'm just sitting here thinking, and I'm just sitting here thinking. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's going to be that much better. Hear me out. That doesn't mean Georgia can't win the national championship this season because I still think that Georgia is probably the best team in the country, right? And I know that I recently did a video about how I think Ohio State has the best roster. All right, roster, team, accomplishments, it's all a little bit different. And yes, top to bottom, talent standpoint, name value standpoint, Ohio State does have the most loaded roster in college football. But if Georgia, you know, doesn't improve from 2023 to 2024, is it, you know, not a contender? And it, the, the answer is no, it's still a contender. It's still the favorite to win. Why? Because Georgia was so good last year. Top five scoring defense, top five scoring offense, top five yardage output, in offense, and I think it'll be similar, right? Because some things are still going to be really, really good, and some things will be better, but some things are going to be worse. And we need to talk about, is that going to hold Georgia back? Is Georgia actually not going to move forward? Because what's the idea is the goal is to get better and better every day. The goal is to get better from season to season, even though you have a new group. But really, the goal is to win a national championship. Does Georgia actually have to be better to do that? I think the answer is probably no, which is good for Georgia's case, because I don't know that they're that much better. If better at all. I think it's going to be a very similar quality of team, for lack of better words, right? With an opportunity to accomplish more than 2023 did. Also an opportunity to accomplish less. Don't forget that part. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter, the Dog Post newsletter. It's in the description of this video. It's uh, it's linked in the description of this video. My name is Ryan Curley. We are talking about... Georgia's improvements from 23 to 24, or lack thereof, right? Maybe we don't know the answers. Maybe we got to actually watch them play some real football to know the answers. Uh, I know that the answers to your how do I get my dogs fixed is the dog po- is dog post, right? But the dog post newsletter is a good way to do that because we'll be pushing out content in your inbox every single day. I'm recording this Friday evening, actually. Um, you know, recording a few of these and. 
I forgot to push out the newsletter, right? It's my job to do on Friday. Forgot to do that. Sorry, guys. You missed... Uh, I can't believe I just did that. If you know that reference. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I just did that on camera. But... Um, the dog post newsletter is the best, and you need to be signing up for that down below. I end up making myself laugh on here. Call it unprofessional, but this is a fun environment to talk about Georgia football. And I, uh, I technically am. Technically am a professional YouTuber. So you look at Georgia's uh, depth. All right, you look at Georgia's roster. Well, really not that much is different on the offensive line. It's going to be very, very similar. And so that is a portion... Can it really get better? I don't know. Georgia's offensive line has been so good already that I just don't know there's going to be much better. But will it sustain an elite level of play? I think the answer is yes. Is the wide receiver room better? Probably deeper. How many wide receivers did they lose? Marcus Osmond Jackson and Brock Bowers, right? Because he was tight end and a receiver, essentially. So you lose the best in Brock Bowers. You lose a reliable, long-term guy in Marcus Osmond Jackson. But Dominic Lovett, Dylan Bell, Rob Rob Thomas, Arian Smith, Colby Young, Michael Jackson the third, Anthony Evans the third. How many of the thirds do we have? We got some more on this team. It's going to be a really good group of pass catchers. Is it a better group without Brock Bowers? No, it's deeper and there's more guys. So I think you'll have similar output. Running backs. Well, I've been sitting here, and I, and I do believe this, thinking that Georgia's rushing attack is going to be better. That's because I think it'll be more consistent, barring health, right? I just think that they're going to have more guys to rotate and throw at teams than they did last year uh, from a health standpoint. Ken the Moulton and Dejan Edwards, very good running backs. I, you know, maybe Trevor Etienne's not better than them. I think that he has an opportunity to be better. But maybe, maybe he's not quite better than them. You know, what to expect of Branson Robinson coming off of a ruptured patellar tendon? You know, is 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 Roger Robinson, he's getting a lot of hype right now, and I'm a believer of it. I'm a believer of the Roger Robinson hype, but what if he doesn't live up to that? Right? And Trevor Etienne's subject to probably get suspended for at least a game, right, with the DUI charges. So is George's offense better? I think it's going to be really similar, which is a top five offense. Which my point is, the top five losses can, can win a national championship. So I'm not saying that Georgia's just going to be worse, but hear me out. Okay, defense. I don't know, guys. I don't know if the defense is going to be better, to be quite frank with you. Um, I think it could be... There's not going to be as much experience in terms of snaps and production in the secondary as uh, there has been in the past. Right? You'll have Malachi Starks back there. Dalen Everett will have, you know, the snaps off of this last year under his belt. But other than that, it won't be a lot of guys that have played a lot of football in-game in the Georgia secondary. The linebacker room, Scott Smile Mondin, but it's young, right? Because you're going to have C.J. Allen and Raylan Wilson out there who have played significant downs. And don't get me wrong because, okay, well, in 2022, Smile Mondin and, and Pop were sophomore. So they're in a similar position and they have smile on So I do think that that group will be fine. They're just so talented. Even the freshmen after CJ Allen and Raylan Wilson, your Chris Coles, your Chris Joneses, your Justin Williams, they're very talented football players. The defensive line's the same, right? Minus Xavier McLeod, the transfer from um, South Carolina. So Warren Brinson, Zemir, the Nazir Stackhouse, Terry Ingram Dawkins, Michael Williams. Well, why is it why is it better? It's the same. Those guys can play better and they might play better. And you know, my point is not that they're not gonna play better. I don't want that to be misconstrued. My point here is that Georgia might not improve that much. I talked there's one guy I didn't talk about. Alright, and if you didn't watch this video, also if you made it this far, thank you. Uh, but please guys stop commenting without watching the whole video. Stop commenting because there, and I want you guys to comment. I want to hear what you're saying. But man, so many ignorant comments over the uh, the whole time I've been doing these videos. And it's obvious if you didn't watch. Just want to put that out there. It's obvious if all you did was read the headline or all you did was watch the first minute. All right, I could tell. And other people do watch the whole time. So a little complaint there. But <laughs> I just I don't think that it gets better. Doesn't mean that Georgia can't win the national championship, though. And that's my point. And it's a testament to where Georgia's at as a program, which is very impressive. 
it's just moving from contender to contender to contender contender and it doesn't even have to be on this upward trajectory path of necessarily getting better each and every year to win national championships i do think george is the best team in college football i uh, you know it's not bias i pointed the wrong way helmets that way um, this is the Georgia football channel. I cover Georgia, but I do think they're the best. I just don't know it's going to be much better than 2023. And it's something I want you to think about. Thanks for watching.